forget this fantasy about until you're sure. That could be when they find Atlantis. I want to know who you suspect. I want to know now. No, I can't tell you now, Pearl. You're the one who said you wanted to help me. I do, sweetheart, I do, but I can't help you if you keep a secret from me. Uh, hello, Julia. Excuse me? Oh, nothing. Huh? Pearl, please, just bear with me. I need some more time, okay? Courtney, Courtney, take a good look at my situation. I'm hanging out here on a very skinny limb, and the cops are down below with a buzzsaw. Now, I'm not going to be of much help to you if they put me away. I won't let it get that far. You just don't understand what's at stake here. Neither do you. And once the system revs up, okay, we may not be able to stop it. Now, excuse me if I'm sounding a little crazy here. I am. Somehow, I have to convey to you here that time, time is of the essence. Mm -hmm. Sweetheart. I really don't like coming here after you this way, especially when I know you're mourning for your sister, but we have to work together here. You have to learn to trust me. No, Pearl, it's not that I don't trust you. It's... Okay. Thank you. Okay, I'll tell you. Good. Oh. All right. Remember when I went to the bungalow, right? Right after it happened? Well, it's one of the highlights of my life. How could I forget? I got dizzy. I got dizzy, and for a moment I thought that I was going to pass out. I kept staring at the floor, and I saw something near me. It was like I noticed it without really seeing it, you know? And then I realized it was a cigarette butt. A cigarette butt? What is that? Yes, but not an ordinary one. It was a very expensive French brand. I recognized the brand. I know someone... Who smokes those? He's the only one I know who does. Uh -huh. These are his. His? Ooh. They're my brother-in-law's. David's. Madeline's husband? Oh no, the dude who practically took my head off my shoulders? Oh, Courtney, Courtney, I mean, I'm, I'm here ready to grasp at any kind of a weed, but a cigarette butt? I mean, Madeline could have smoked it herself. Madeline didn't smoke. Oh, no, but that's, a, that's crazy. That's a, a, impossible, can't be. Now you know why I didn't want to tell you until I knew more. Look at Courtney, I'm really touched and not a little awed that you should drop all suspicions of me all over a little cigarette butt. When I know how highly you revered your brother-in-law, how terrific his marriage to Madeline was, and we... Wait a minute. It wasn't? Hmm? Not as terrific as they led everyone to believe. My ears have hurt. Well... I told Cruz Castillo this morning that they fought a lot. Now, Maddie didn't tell me everything, but I knew how upset she got and how much she wanted to get away from him after those fights. Now, I don't think David knows how much I know. Well, uh, married people fight. I think it's written in the vows. It doesn't always lead to murder, though. No, of course not. But Madeline wasn't easy to get along with. I don't have to tell you that. Yeah, but we still don't have a motive for this guy. Uh-oh. David didn't have his own money when he married Madeline. And he likes to live very well. You mean to tell me he needs the Capwell bucks, right? To, to fund his fix for fancy French ciggies and, uh, and custom-tailored suits, right? So therefore, the divorce is going to cut him off from all of that business. There we have our motive. Oh, wait a minute. Wasn't he back east when she was attacked? Does he have an alibi? Yes, it's airtight. Oh, Pearl, I don't know what I'm suggesting here. I love David because he's my sister's husband, and he's been very, very good to me. Oh. You're not saying he's guilty. Neither am I. But there's some smoke here, and maybe we want to see if there's a little fire underneath. What do you say? That's what I say. Now let's go see what Cruzy says. 